what's up guys how y'all doing cosmic carry here bringing up world of tanks video and today i should be conducting uh, a review of the leopard uh, pta the tier 9 german medium tank the the second german medium line this uh, this uh, line of course leads to the almighty leopard one and uh, what to say about this tank a fantastic tank with a beast of a gun it has just as many pros as it does cons it's just uh, it has a uh, fantastic accuracy amazing pen but at the same time you suffer from lack of armor if you can call it armor head just it's uh, basically a tin foil tank and just they it, it, it was severely lacking when it comes to armor what to say about this tank i have to say but first things first that so far doing this line i've enjoyed myself immensely you know all the tanks in the line the engine panzer the leopard pta etc etc all the tanks have been fantastic and a challenge and a joy to play i have to say so initially when you roll out in your leopard pta what to expect what to expect the stock it basically comes with the engine panzer's gun uh, the nine centimeter quick 54 with some slight tweaks and improvements penetration wise you're getting the same thing 212 damage 240 you know what this gun's about you've played in the engine panzer you know what to expect you know how it handles there's a slight buff when it comes to the rate of fire and the aim time but the accuracy is pretty much the same so the stock is it's not a lot you know it's not painful it's not the end of the world it's workable absolutely but the the reward is the 105 you know bottom line just think about the 105 that the, the gun that you're gonna get the top gun on the leopard pta you know the, and this this is the gun that you're gonna be rolling out with on the leopard uh, one the, the tier 10 tank and uh, rate of fire 5.41 which is really bad it's really low but penetration 268 you know this is where this tank shines 268 is absolutely astronomical fantastic you know the, this penetration is the penetration you're going to get get on the on the tier 10 version damage of course 390 aim time 2.29 accuracy 0 0.31 what does 268 penetration at tier 9 actually mean you know average pen of a tier 9 a medium at tier 9 is around 235 240 so you know so 268 that's top of the line when it comes to penetration tier 9 mediums you're, you're sharing the top spot basically with the centurion mark 71 and uh, another thing which is interesting you know the premium rounds on this tank are heat and re regardless of what type of uh, shells they are it's kind of pretty neat and enjoyable uh, because of the fact that you don't need premium rounds you know 268 at tier 9 in the medium is sound fantastic basically and I never, I, I don't think for like, for like an instant I ever felt like I needed to load up premium shells in this tank. So it's, it's nice rolling out in a tank, premium shells are just, they're just not an option. You know, you, you, don't, you don't need them, you don't need them. But comp comparing this tank to the other tier 9 medium tanks, you can see where its strengths and weaknesses are. You know, the DPM is it, it just about beats the Mo uh, Centurion Mark 7 1 but uh, apart from that tank it has the lowest DPM out of all the tier 9 mediums and that's because of the slow reload time which is I'm guessing it's a balancing factor for having a super accurate super high penetration gun and because of this it is 100% not a brawling tank a because of the, the low uh, DPM long reload and b because of the really really uh weak armor and uh, simply put this is 100 percent a sniping tank a sniping tank and it and it's not a 100 percent not a brawling tank do not get into it you know with the russian uh, mediums and t-54s and uh, you know uh, tanks such as, as this because 
you're going to lose out. You're going to 100% lose out, even though you have I-10, even though you're putting out more alpha than the T-54, for instance. Simple as, you, you know, you're going to 100% lose out. <laughs> the shell velocity on the shells is very, very quick, which is really, really nice. You know, find those APC, uh, APCR shells. Reload time is in the region, like I said, it's, it's around the 10 second mark. Aim time is a beautiful 2.21 accuracy, you know, fantastic, and all of that. <laughs> stuff uh, the gun dispersion is pretty lousy like when you're on the move and you come to a halt all of that jazz uh, the power to weight ratio of the engine compared to the the weight of the tank is really really fantastic and uh, you have fantastic acceleration good mobility really really fantastic top speed of 65 kilometers per hour which is the, the, the you know it holds the number one spot when it comes to speed uh out of all the tier tier nine mediums as uh, so you know you can get into really decent sniping spots really really fast set up camp in that bush etc etc but also when you get yourself in a jam in a pickle when you see trouble coming your way you always know you know you can you you can run away and nobody's gonna catch you basically but um and you need to be running away in this tank you 100 percent need to be running away due to the fact that you have no armor anything basically can penetrate you anything anything you, the, the, very rare that i got a, a bounce in this tank absolutely 100 percent occasionally like a, a shell would hit me at an awkward angle and it would bounce but that was just you know down to luck or you know just down to the fact that the, the shell hit my tank at an awkward angle and kind of caused you to kind of snigger and smirk because it, it really does have tin foil armor it has no armor whatsoever you're, you're in a tier 9 tank and when you're top tier the tier 7 tanks can basically penetrate you 1650 hit points that is it is at the lower end but it's at the same time it's not the end of the world you know the the medium tanks at tier 9 with the highest amount of hit points are only at 700, uh, 1750 so it's only like a hundred hit points more than you view range 400 radio range 750 what else to say about this tank pretty much you know my philosophy was like i mentioned before get out there set up in a fantastic sniping spot and just snipe away snipe away snipe away in a bush at a distance it's it's totally up to you but when the enemies when the reds were coming at me you you simply have to know when to retreat when to pull back and again set up shop in a bush, in a this, in a that, and use that speed, use that mobility to pull back, you realize when it's time to pull back, and uh, because, like I said, anything's going to penetrate you, bottom line. Equipment wise, what to use on this tank, it's totally up to you, there's a lot of drama when it comes to uh, medium tanks, Coded optics are the way to go. Vert stabs, you have to have vert stabs on a, on a medium tank. This is a very unique medium due to the fact that it hardly has any armor. It is not a traditional medium. And in my personal humble opinion, you should use whatever you feel comfortable with. I played around a lot with the equipment. You know, I played, uh, I don't know, 100 odd games. I had a ended up with about a 52% win rate in the tank which is not bad you know not also considering in fact I think I've played about 20 30 games with a broken hand but that's a, you know, another story I used a uh, bottom line I use the the camo net on this tank I, I've used binoculars coded optics toolbox you don't really need I mean if you if you're gonna be tracked you're gonna be most probes you're gonna die <laughs> uh, gun rammer uh, totally up to you vert stabs again yes absolutely a uh, spore liner so so 
prevents absolutely uh, Amorak class 1 absolutely and I played a lot of games with um, with the wet Amorak class 1 which uh, increases the durability of your Amorak you will uh, get ammo racked quite often apparently uh, because it, it didn't happen to me that often because I use this equipment and also I have a uh, safe stowage uh, trained on my crew but that's about it you know it's it's totally up to you equipment wise what you want to roll out in you know dude, I can only give you suggestions and I, I, I played around a lot with the equipment and I, I found great success with you know all sorts of different combinations I also have a fantastic crew on this tank you know I really do I have a whole bunch of skills and perks basically um, unlocked on this tank and this is my most experienced crew the crew comes actually from my very first tier 10 the E100 this the tanks crews basically OP as hell <laughs> bottom line Snipe, snipe, snipe. Use the fantastic accuracy and penetration of this gun. Understand that you have no armor whatsoever. So try and read the map, read the battle, read the situation ahead of you and understand when it's time to pull back and regroup into a different position and then continue sniping, continue sniping. Understand that 100% this is not a brawling tank and don't get into it with other medium tanks you know with a high reload speed etc etc nonetheless even though it doesn't have any armor it has a fantastic gun amazing gun with fantastic penetration I'm gonna we're gonna get into some gameplay I'm gonna demonstrate fantastic nature of the gun and when to pull back when to post up in a bush all of that jazz and just uh, show off this fantastic tank absolutely let's get into some gameplay okay hey ho let's go westfield standard battle tier 9 tier 10 match no tier 8 as, as far as i can remember uh we're going to be showing off the gun depression and the accuracy of the leopard pta in this battle the accuracy at close range medium range and at long range and the gun depression, I forgot to mention that this tank gets 6 degrees of gun depression, which is very, very workable. you 100% not a hull down tank in any way, shape or form. But 6 degrees of uh, gun depression, regardless, you know, on uh, ridges, uh, hills, uh, such as, you know, the one up here in Westfield. It's workable. It's 100% workable. You know, with the aim time, with the accuracy, six degrees of gun depression, you can work those ridge lines. Of course, you have to watch out for artillery. One thing that's interesting to note uh, is the, the my ammo loadout on the bottom. You can see it's very, very low. You know, my standard ammo is a 10. Um, heat is 10 and um, HE is, is 5. This was due to the fact that this was actually my final game. And when I'm about to sell a tank, and I did sell this tank, um, I turn off order resupply. And because of that, you know, I, I wind down, I use up my ammo, use up my ammo, use up my ammo. Each and every battle that um, that takes place, the bill that you get when you're charged for ammunition, it's for the replacement ammo. It's not for actually for the ammo that you use in that battle that just occurred you're actually paying for the replacement ammo and at the end of this game you'll notice the cost for my ammunition was zero even though i fired a whole bunch of shells and i had a fantastic game uh, the cost for my ammo used was zero because when you roll out on the battlefield <coughs> the shells that you have loaded up you've already paid for them you've already paid for them but anyhow so Keep in mind, one piece of artillery, tier 9, tier 10. I was kind of working that ridge line. I knew that there was, I think it was a T-30 sniper in the back. So I decided, you know, relocate, you know, not relocate, but point your gun elsewhere and make that uh, sniper kind of forget about you. And what, what, just watch the, you know, I don't even zoom in all the way and I make contact and with an E-75, you know, the E-75 with that troll armor, no problemo. 
And it's, it's such a joy to play in a tank where I never ever, you simply never have to use the, the premium ammunition. Of course, in this game, I do actually end up using the premium ammunition, but that's because it was already paid for. It was already there. I might as well have used it, etc. I had uh, 10 heat rounds loaded during the course of the grind of this uh, tank, and I, I ne never ever used them. So in the very final game, I ended up actually using them. Accuracy, pinpoint, side of E75, of course I'm going to pen. And even though I have this good awful reload um, time in this tank, I'm, I just seem to be, I'm, I'm non-stop firing my gun in this game, basically. <laughs> I, th I think there's a little bit of a lull here, actually. So, uh, But... Um, and I, it, it was just you know, the, the the luck of the draw. RNG Jesus kind of smiled down upon me in this game. Um, for some reason, artillery was not interested in me, etc., etc. So focus my attention back to the left hand side over here. SD one. Again, you can see the sniper off into the distance, and I'm kind of worried about him. Keeping a, a careful eye on him. SDI, you know, the, these tanks, E75, the damages my gun, there you go, E75, SDI, the, these tanks have such troll armor, and so often you'll bounce, you'll bounce, and you'll think, okay, I got this shot, and you end up bouncing, not with this gun, not with this penetration, not with this tank, you know, it's, it's just, it's not a problem, six degrees of gun depression, they're coming into play, no problem, blah, problema, again, looking at that TD, has he fired? Can I fire? E75 plants a shot into me. Again, keeping an eye on that TD. When's he going to move? When's somebody going to obliterate him? He's lit up like a Christ Christ Christmas tree non-stop. And when's Artie going to take him out? I just want to move on, move on. We've developed a, a, considerable, a considerable lead there. Uh, the TD takes a shot. And I think he pulls back around. The day. There you go. He takes a shot. And that's my cue. I can go for it. E75 ramming and another E75. Get, I get the kill. Moving onto the TD. And he gets taken out. And look at the speed of this thing. It's just galloping across the field like a GG horsey. Galloping. Look, look at it. It's beautiful. It just moves. And look, look at the smoke coming from the exhaust. I, I love it. It's just a beautiful thing. T92 get a nice shot into him, uh, ever so slight ro low roll, pull back, and of course I was fully, uh, I understood, you know, there was TDs in the back, and sure enough, the Yagpanzer gets a shot into me, and that leaves me on a minuscule amount of health, but uh, yeah, yeah, and again, I'm very apprehensive, I know where the other two TDs are, they must be up there, and there, there we go, there we go, the object. 704. I, th I think the, there's a waffle up there. Look, look at that penetration coming into play. No problem. <laughs> Let my uh, binox kick in and all of that good stuff. And uh, it's, it's just shots on target. Shots on target. Shots on target. No problem. You know, really is a beautiful gun. Pinpoint accuracy. Waiting. Be patient. Wonder game. There, there we go. T9 Woofy. That um, the the shell velocity, the speed of the shell combined with the aim time, combined with the accuracy, it's all it's it's all just gravy. <laughs> it's just fantastic. It's beautiful, beautiful tank. Oh, well, I, I should say beautiful gun, but it it, it is one hundred percent a beautiful tank. It is, and but the. the, the it's, that reload does troll you. A lot of occasions, it will just let me down that reload. Other tanks would beat me to the punch. Get the last kill on the Yeageru. Picking up 17 pens. 4 kills. A mastery game, basically. Final game in the Leopard BTA, and it's a mastery. And I end up getting almost 6k damage. <laughs> it couldn't have been better. And we're going to be moving on to... Our next game, the final game, no commentary here. It's actually from, <clears throat> pardon me, um, my live stream. I did a live stream 
recently and I was grinding the Leopard PTA. The reason why I'm putting up this vid is because it showcases perfectly the strengths and the weaknesses of the Leopard PTA. And uh, basically in this game I snipe, I snipe, I snipe from afar and uh, when the reds move in I'm forced to pull back every time I confront any reds whatsoever uh, they penetrate me and leave me on a minuscule amount of health and I just keep pulling back I just keep pulling back I'm just patient I'm just patient and at the end of the game my speed basically comes to the rescue of my t team and I'm not going to spoil it. I'll, I'll let you guys watch it. So anyhow, I'll see you guys back in the garage. Take it easy. See you in a minute. Alright, seriously? Is anybody coming down here? God oh, damn it, it's too late. It took too long. Next. Seriously, <laughs> only two tanks down here. That's bizarre. Seriously, only two tanks down here. That's the first. Oh, hello. There's a sniper up there. There he is. See you too, buddy. You know what? Such horse shit. There's only two of us down here. Who ever heard of such a thing? Aren't people supposed to lemon train on this side of the map? Oh, fuck you. You 750 alpha, whatever it is. Oh, come on, Conqueror. Die already so I can leave you. <laughs> I feel obligated to stay. Of. Nah, 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 oh, no, 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 Yeah, that's what you do in a bulldog.
Yeah, I know you're pre-aiming. Dirty bastard. Come on. This is just not gonna work. to hold off the bad guys. Yeah, he's making a run for the base. That's it. Okay, go. Go E50. Light them up. And four measly hit points. Where is that T thirty? Possibly, maybe he's pulled back. About to find out, anyway. Yep, he's pulled back. Okay. Let's go and shoot them in the butt. And I need to fucking hustle. Shit. tank hustle nice come 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 tank nice shiza oh shit He's stuck. Nice. I'll take that. Is he looking at me? Hello, welcome back <laughs> to the garage, Leopard PTA. Sorry, Leopard PTA, but I'm going to have to sell you. I want that Leopard 1, the tier 10 Leopard. Yes, indeedy. Uh, th this is a fantastic, beautiful tank, fantastic, beautiful gun, but the reload does let you down on on a number of occasions. It does let you down. That armor, it, it never basically let me down because I was never ever seen you know I never brawled and neither should you shoot from afar snipe from afar use your speed uh, to your advantage and you'll be golden you'll be good this grind was 
sound fantastic fun 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 i enjoyed the tank absolutely 100 percent. hope you guys enjoyed my review take it easy adios muchachos